Welcome back friends and if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Taniva and I am an artist based out of Chicago. Today I am part of a collaboration with some other wonderful artists who we are all kind of sitting just below a thousand subscribers on YouTube. So we're just trying to get those numbers up. So if you are new to my channel, I would love if you hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up and uh, yeah, let's help all of these artists and myself grow our channels. Thanks a lot. Here we have our colors. I have my cloud mix, which I will put the recipe in the comments below. Harbor Sky from Modern Masters. Venetian Blue from Modern Masters. Payne's Gray from Golden's. Grayish Blue from Amsterdam. These are some really pretty drips that I saved from a previous painting. And then I have Snowflake White from uh, Rust-Oleum. And I'm gonna need to thin that down just a little bit. So here we've got our Venetian Blue. Gonna follow that up with Sky Harbor. These two paints next to each other do magical, amazing things. Paints gray. Looks like I might have a little clump in there that I need to get rid of later. Got my grayish blue. I'm gonna follow that up with my cloud mix. I don't need a lot of that. I think I'm gonna sandwich that with some paints gray. And then Harbor Sky, Venetian, more Payne's Gray, and a little of that grayish blue, more of my cloud mix. And I think I'm going to finish it off with some Venetian. There we go. And then I have my drips here. And I'm just going to pour a puddle of this to pour into. Here we go. I'm going to start up high so I get some nice effects from the dirty pour style and then I'll bring it in so it's more like a straight pour. lots of bubbles when you do that dirty pour style it um, especially from a pie it does create a lot of bubbles and churning but that's also what gives you some of these really cool effects so. base coat around here because I want to be able to uh, 
slide this a little more than it's wanting to slide. kind of trying to get this swoopy curve in and I think it's working so if you can't tell what I'm doing on screen what I'm doing is lifting and then tilting this way so that I'm, I'm getting it to walk over instead of like trying to keep it in the center and do corner to corner I'm wanting to create this composition of a little more of a swoop Ooh. Yeah. Oh, I'm liking this a lot. I think I am going to take a little more weight off that corner. Not too much. There we go. And then see what happens if we open it up this way a little bit more. So I'm letting some of the weight come down this way and then I'm going to bring it that way to encourage that swoop again. Which sadly you probably won't be able to see that on camera really well. I think I'm going to take a little more paint weight off that side and then stretch it back one more time to finish opening up the center. And I, then I think I'm pretty much exactly where I want it to be. So sorry if all of that isn't on camera.
is gorgeous. I'm going to clean up a couple of these spots where I have little blue dots because I'm, I'm not loving that. And I'm going to make sure all of my edges look really, really nice. And then I will bring you in for the wet results. Here we are, final wet walkthrough. I am so incredibly happy with this. Look at that. These clouds are amazing. And I did tweak my cloud recipe. So if you've jotted down my recipe before, take a look in the comments for this recipe because it is a little different. Look at that. Uh, I love this kind of cloudy edge here too. Okay, here we are, final walkthrough. Look at that. I love that soft shimmer that you get from the snowflake. It's not in your face sparkle, it's just lovely and soft. Look at that pretty clouds. Ah, I am so in love with this piece. Okay, thank you so much for joining me and I hope you'll stick around for the rest of the amazing artists represented today. Thank you.